So here we have another three-year-old. However, this one I showed in um, Amarillo uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, getting ready to show her again in, at the Cotton Stakes in West Monroe. Um, honestly, I wouldn't really work her any different to, um, to the one I just worked. Um, other than the fact I might speed the machine up once or twice here and there just to change up the speed and make sure she's reading the, the cow and uh, not just me so the same thing here I'll just kind of step her back and hold her and make her come from behind animation there when I hold her with my feet which I like Good right there. Good, the timing was good. I'm gonna make her stay up against that cow just a little bit more going that way. Seems like she's just getting away just a little bit. That was better. Feels good and straight and true that way. That was better again. Stop this cow in the middle of the turn and make sure she's reading the cow. Some little moves there. Just make sure she's thinking. It's back that way. Good. Let me ride her up there with my feet. Pull back there, good. Speed that up. Caught her with my left foot there to make her stay up. I'm gonna go straight ahead. Sure, yep. I think um, whether you work the flag, the machine, or a real cow, you know, a real cow, live cow, to me, needs to be more, more about the cow, for sure, than, than these. I like to use these more as a tool to make sure they listen to my feet, stay up against it, ride